Good morning. Hello. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time you're watching this video. And welcome to the channel. I'm in the garden this morning taking care of a number of different chores. It's so hot out here. It is, I don't even know what time it is in the morning. I can't see my watch through my, <laughs> but it's early. Um, and it's already 80 degrees this morning. I have the umbrella up, but I am just hot. So this morning I'm taking a break from working out in the garden, moving some things around, cleaning some things up, adding some shade, and I'm going to pot up a few things on this table. I've got some pots up here that have been sitting up here for quite a while. I hadn't gotten around to potting them up. So that's what I'm going to be doing with you this morning. I am going to be sowing some herbs. So let's get at it. I have several containers of seeds of herbs. I have herbs that I've taken out of the refrigerator that have been sitting in there for quite some time. So I'm not going too fast. I have containers that I've been stockpiling here that have soil in them. I also have, excuse the tripod, I have containers over here that I have done nothing with. And so th this morning, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm also going to be repotting some pockets in my green stalk. Some areas of the green stalk have taken off. As you can see, some areas are very sparse and are doing very little or are doing their very best to try and die on me. So today I am also going to be going through this green stalk and trying to add some seeds. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to top dress with some mulch because you cannot leave the soil exposed. The more exposed soil you have, the more soil dries out. And that does not help when you're trying to grow anything. So let's get at I it. I hope you can see my workstation this morning. Let me shift some things around. Probably will not need that, but we're gonna move that out of the way. I always start with gloves because living organisms live in soil. There are oftentimes spiders and ants that are in soil, earwigs or pincher bugs, whatever you call them, roly poly. There's all kinds of everything in soil. And so I, if I encounter them, I don't want to touch them with my hands. That's just me. But you do whatever you need to do for you and your garden. This one is missing a bottom somewhere. I don't know where that went. So I'll have to make sure that I put a bottom so that there's always water being able to wick up because this pot has holes in the bottom. Now, let's see. Let me rearrange some things. I'm going to need a pot to put this mulch into. And I don't have one. Let's find the Okay, I don't need a pot. pot. I have this bucket off to the side. I just happen to have a few things resting in it. I am near the wind chimes and they are loud this morning. So I hope my wind chimes don't disturb you. I rather like the sound, so that's why I have them. So I'm gonna take the mulch off the top of the soil, just like so. And I may have to stand up because, or get a booster seat, because I can't see. I cannot see in this pot, so let me stand up. I thought I would be able to sit down for a few minutes, but apparently not. So I'm just going to mix this soil, just break it up. It's not too condensed, which is a good thing. It's still some good looking soil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some Osmocote in here. Your seedlings don't need fertilizer, but as your plant grows, and it will be in this container for as long as I can stand for it to be in this container, the, the plant itself will need fertilizer. And so I'm just making sure that it has what it needs when it needs it. And I am feeding the soil. So I have been watering these. They have been sitting on the table but I have been watering them to make sure that they don't dry out so that the, the microorganisms that live in the soil stay alive. And so this one, I don't know what was in it because the label has, of course, eroded from the sun, but I know that these were all 
lavender. So let me find some lavender over here and we're gonna pop this up with some lavender. Now from what I can make out on this little cork, I believe this was Vera lavender. V-E-R-A lavender. Lavanda. <laughs> so I have a garden marker. Hopefully this will not um, disappear in the sun. But I wrote on there what it is. And this is the lavender. This is a very old seed. I don't know if any of this will germinate. So I am just going to put all of these seeds in here and hope for the best. Because I've had this seed for years and I just don't know if it's the seed, if it's me, or what, but they were not germinating. So I'm just going to spread them just like that. Get all of them out of this little pouch. There's some static cling in this pouch. These little seeds don't want to come out. I don't want to leave them any of them in there. And then I'm going to take a little of the soil, just a little bit, from off the side and just sprinkle it over the top, just lightly dusting it, pressing them into the soil, making sure they have contact, and labeling it with a little cork. And this was a chopstick that deteriorated, but that's that. So I'm going to put this off to the side. That's one down. And... We'll keep going. Let me move this over here. This pot had munsted. I hope you all can see well. I don't know what you all can see. This was a munsted um, lavender broken up plastic tag. Let me take this mulch off the top, put it in to the bucket off to the side. Let me actually move it closer to me. That way I'm not losing too much mulch. I try to reuse as much as I possibly can in the garden. If it can be reused, I reuse it. And so this is Munsted. I'm going to, there we go, Munsted, you probably can't see that. I'm gonna do the same thing with this pot, which is just, and you can see this soil is moist. Like I said, I have been watering, making sure that they stay moist so that the soil microbes don't die. If you're new to gardening, you must know that one, one of the many things you must know is that you need to make sure that your soil doesn't dry out because you kill the life that's living in the soil when you let it dry out. So I'm just gonna do the same thing like I did before, mix it up making sure that those beads get distributed through the soil. Now, those are osmocote beads, if I had not said that before. And they're activated by heat. And right now I'm literally sweating. The sweat is pouring off me into the pot. And all I'm doing is standing here. I'm so hot outside. So it's hot enough for these beads to be activated. Now, I have Munsted in this bag. As I mentioned, I kept several seeds that needed to be cold stratified in the house. Now, what you're supposed to do is start this on a wet paper towel in the house, uh, in the refrigerator. As you can see, I didn't do that. I'm just going to move the soil around, pat it down a little bit, because these are some tiny seeds. I'm going to leave a little bit of soil right here on the side so that I can kind of dust the seeds. Making sure I don't have anything inside the packet that looked like it was just dirt from when I last tried to sow seeds. This one is 85 days to um, harvest. And there aren't very many in here, so I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the other, Vera. And I'm just going to sow my seed like that. And that way, if it's the seed, and that's why the seed is not germinating, then I know better and I'll purchase some more seed. 
if it's me, then I'll do what I know I should probably do, which is put it in the refrigerator, put it on a moist paper towel for several months, let it germinate, and then put it in the garden. But as you see, I'm not doing that. So I'm going to, what did I do with my glove, y'all? Here it is. I am going to take my gloved hand, just lightly sprinkle over those seeds, press them down. And I don't have a tag for this one. So I am going to, because that tag is all busted up, I'm not going to put that tag back in here. It's just a waste of my, my effort to do that. It's just no good. Munstead lavender, just like that. Okay, and then off to the side. This one goes. I have a number of different seeds to sow. I know you all probably really don't want to see me do the exact same thing with every seed, but I am going to take care of all this lavender, and then I will be right I back. Have planted up all of the containers on the black stand. It's still sitting here for I right now. I have planted now. up all of the pots on the table. They're going to stay here for right now. I have now. potted up the green stalk, and I've also added, so literally every pocket of the green stalk has something in it, whether it is looking halfway like it's not going to make it, or it's looking like, hey, girl, hey, I'm doing good. There's something in each pocket of the green stalk. Now, because I live in a place where it is 100 to hail degrees, I don't think it's a wise idea to not cover your soil when you're newly planting up your green stalk. It's not recommended to put mulch, mulch on your green stalk. However, I am going to use the green stalk to the way that I feel it works or could possibly work best for me and my area. Like I said, I live in a place where it's 100 to hail degrees and it's 80 degrees first thing in the morning, 70 degrees, 7 o'clock. Nine o'clock, it's 80 degrees. And so it doesn't look like there's anything in here, but I do have a tiny little celery in there. I have tiny little onions in there. And I did take mulch and just sprinkle some mulch around in each pocket. This celery is not looking the best, but I am going to baby it to see if it's going to do, uh, it's going to perk up. We'll see. If it doesn't, then it'll be replaced. I think it could do like this one. So I'm, I'm not going to count it out. But everything else is between eh and outstanding. So I have, this is the only set of onions that has really taken off and starting to pull on some real good growth. The other herbs are looking relatively good for the most part. Uh, this is some sweet marjoram. I need to harvest my herbs. I will be harvesting all of my basil here very soon, but I need to go get some more Parmesan cheese so that I can make some pesto and put that in the freezer. So this is what I've done so far. Everything on the floor, I potted that Russian sage up yesterday. Everything on the ground will need to be watered. I cut back the peppermint in that pot right there because it was looking real rough, but the roots are very much alive. I dug around, so I'm leaving that alone. I just covered it up with some additional mulch. I will be covering up these pots with some additional mulch. I'll be watering everything in tonight. This was a mystery that I took out of the greenhouse that it suffered. It's partially alive. I'm going to leave it alone. If it does not perk up, I'm going to be taking that out and uh, putting something else in there. Now, this is a raised garden bed that my sister gave me. I refreshed the soil. I sowed seeds in this as well. You all probably cannot see any of the plant stakes, but they're in there. I had some uh, lemon, lemon bergamot that was growing in this section here. I just took the spent flower heads and reseeded that. They could very well grow throughout the entire thing because I just, just reseeded. That's all I did. And I put other seeds in here. This is a, a clary sage that has gone to seed. I'm letting it do what it do. I have been harvesting off of it. Everything needs a water. Like I said, it's 100 to a hail degrees right now. So everything is looking really bad. A lot of things will perk up once the sun goes down. But for right now, nope, looking rough. I have seeds all throughout here. I have valerian, I have ashwagandha, and angelica I put in there. So I have one more container left to pot up, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. 
So Let's the sun see. has moved, so I had to shift just a bit. And in this area over here, I planted some herbs, but they did not come up. So what I also did was I transplanted some celery, but something has been over here eating. I did plant some herbs in this container, but they did not come up. But the celery is trying to hold on. It was literally eaten down to nothing. I sprayed the pot. I dug around. I didn't see anything, but I did spray it. And um, so far, it looks like whatever. Oh, it's got worms in here. Whatever it was that was eating is gone because the leaves are beginning to grow back, which is a good sign. And so I'm just going to move this mulch. I'm going to put some fertilizer in here and just work it in. This already has worm castings because it has worms in this container. So let's see, I'm just going to just shift it a little bit just to kind of aerate the soil some. It is very hot out today and my phone shut off. So I'm going to have to do a voiceover. What I've done is I've already sown some seeds. You all have missed it, but I'm showing you here that I've placed several seeds in the pot already. I have many more seeds yet to sow, but I don't have that much more room, so they won't be going in this pot. Now, what I did sow today, I didn't show you all, I didn't talk about it, so let's talk about what I've sown so far. Curl Dwarf Parsley, that's a seed from 2016. German Chamomile is a seed from 2020. Tarragon is a seed from 2020. Lavender Hysip, that seed is from 2018. Munsted Lavender, that seed was from 2021. Greek Oregano, that seed was from 2019. Common Thyme, that seed was from 2016. Valerian root, that seed was from 2000. Another chamomile, it didn't say what variety, it just said chamomile. This seed looks like it's from 2021. A Southern True Lavender, this seed is from 2019. True Hysip, this seed is from 2024. And last but not least, the English lavender, and that seed was from 2021. So I've sown a lot of seeds today on the table, on the black shelf, in the green stalk, and in the standing grow bed. I still have more to do, but I don't have any more space in this area here today. So I want to thank you all for joining me in the garden this morning. I know the weather has been terrible for many people, so I hope that you are safe and well. And if you aren't, I hope you get to be safe and well soon. Until the next video, I hope to see you either in my kitchen or my food forest real soon. Now, I have to find a place to put these last few seeds because I've run out of space, but it's getting hot, so it won't happen today. So until then, bye for now. Don't you cry just to go